What's going on YouTube? Clay all back again with another Final Fantasy Brave Exvius video and today we're taking down the angrier, more angry helicopter. We gotta take that helicopter down. Now I've already completed the quest and got the little general uh, pistol, but I went in and one shot it because I was seeing how hard it is to beat. Um, so we need to go in there and do it again, but do it the right way with no items, party of five or less, and defeat it with a limit burst, which I think is going to be like the most tough thing. Um, I'm going to be taking Agoras as my damage dealer, so I'm going to pair that with another Divine Runation Chainer, and we're going to take Sephiroth here. I'm going to see if Sephiroth has a, uh, yep, light weapon equipped. That's pretty good. Wish they had Machine Killer, but we can't uh, have that. So, essentially, when we fight this guy, it is a machine. Use Machine Killer. You guys should have a Machine Killer already, um, ready to go in your party. We're going to break its attack. Everything can be broken on it. We're going to break its attack, break its defense. It does do magic damage in the form of fire. However, it's kind of like... Not that much. I mean, you could put a, uh, you know, Mastia, a Shilt, a Bosch on your team, a Chow, AoE, um, you know, Fire Resist, take all that, but your team could really take it. Next up, it does a lot of physical auto attacks, so we're going to be taking Veritas of the Earth, pretty much because I was using him for the uh, Golem 3-star Esper, and he's already 100% evaded. I don't even think you need that for this, but hey, he's already there. We're going to be using that. Then it also does this missile attack that cannot be covered, and everybody's going to be taking a little bit of damage, but... Like I said, as long as you break the attack, which I'm going to be using 9S for here, it's not that big of a deal. So this is the team we're going to be going in with. Again, I'll show you guys the equipment real fast. This is my 100% evade. This is just what I have to be able to make it. So it looks like that. Um, you know, we have Rose in here for the MP regen and the health regen and being our little uh, white mage there. We have 9S. He's going to be here to just uh, break um, the magic and the spirit and the attack and defense of the monster. And he can put up the, um, you know... Resist shield there if we need to. And then we have Agris here who's going to be our damage dealer. That's how we have Machine Killer. Guys, this boss will me immediately put a shield on itself, making it take less damage. So we need to dispel that off of it. This boss also likes to take all of our stats down. Um, you know, take our stats and, uh, uh, you know, debuff them. And I've determined that's really not that big of a deal either. However, I do want to show you guys a trick in this part where Bushido Freedom kind of becomes a thing of the past. I had no idea you could do this until a user commented on my YouTube comments that you could use the spell go on your own team. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that um, and see if we can beat this boss with a limit burst. So thank you so much for showing me that um, about the dispel good thing. So let's go ahead and get into the fight and see if we can take this guy down and get all these um, these prizes, these uh, these tickets and stuff. Alright, so like I said, he's going to come in, enemy strikes first, he puts that barrier on himself. He's going to do that a couple of times throughout the fight. Honestly, I've been fighting this fight without looking anything up, and just trying to learn it on my own, because everybody's too excited about the step-up banner. I don't think there was much shown on Reddit data mind on this guy, so I'm just going to go with what I know. So on the first time, I'm going to go ahead and incinerate press to get all that physical attacks going on to, uh, physical auto attacks going there. I am going to go ahead and also cast... <clears throat> dispel to get rid of that shield. So I'm going to go ahead and cast the Spelga, and then I'll show you later on. I'm not going to cast it on my own team now, but I'll show you later on how you could do that if you wanted to. So we're going to cast the Spelga, get that shield off. We're going to break down his attack and defense with 9S, like so. And then we're going to have Agrius and um, Sephiroth get in there with some damage. We're going to use the Heaven's Weft and chain it up and see how much damage we can do. Pretty good. Pretty good. 75%. Volcanic Eruption, that is the AoE magic damage I was talking about. Now, it did do a little bit more than normal, um, because we don't have his magic broken yet. But, as you can see, hey, we lived through it. We did fine. We're not even close to being dead. Everybody's living, and that's the full brunt of the attacks. That's pretty much all it does, besides also taking your... So, you can look, and we also have our stats down, right? Uh, lowers attack, defense, magic, and spirit. That's all down. Uh, but, again, we're going to be fine, I think. We're going to be fine. Let's go ahead and check him out. He does not have not put the shield back on him, but if he did, you kind of might want to get rid of that, but you kind of don't even have to. We're building up Limit Burst here. So, I'm going to go ahead and take uh, Veritas of the Earth, and I'm going to use his... Um, where's the ability I want to use? His uh, defensive barrier on everyone. That's important, you know, just to make everybody take less damage. I'm going to have 9S go ahead and use the uh, Magic and Spirit Break here. On the boss, let's see. Yeah, magic and spirit break on the boss. Now the boss should have everything uh, broken on it. Yep, 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 yep. And then we're going to have Rosa. At this turn, I'm going to cast Bless and just pray that nobody dies. I mean, we're all kind of low, but hey, it happens. Uh, then we're going to have Divine Ruination and uh, Sephiroth just chain it up. But oh! Actually hoping for Veritas of the, the Earth. Ooh, they're kind of low. This might be bad. Nope, with the break and the damage mitigation, we're fine. <laughs> it's 
kind of anticlimactic. I guess the noises, I have to have the battle noises on, I guess, to be able to hear that stuff. Maybe that was a mistake. I should have had that on. But Veritas Sales getting those counters in, building up his limit burst because his limit burst does do damage mitigation, but it also damages. So we can chain up and use it at the end there if we need to. So now that Bless is on everybody, we're going to go ahead and use Rosa to, uh, let's check and make sure the boss didn't buff itself. It has not. It has not put its shield back on. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and use Rosa to dual white magic cast, Kirago and everyone. Um, in the event that I end up not using the ability to um, show you guys how to use the spell go on your team, I, I will show you after this. I'll show you how it's done after this to make sure you guys understand it. Um, incinerating press is being cast. Uh, 9S is going to go ahead and cast the attack and defense break here. And then Agarus and uh, the Sephiroth will chain together as best buddies and do some damage. <laughs> yeah, I just don't have the sound on because I didn't want it to be like overbearing to you guys. Uh, I do have the those sound effects on. Man, we need some more Limit Burst Crystals. So he was at 50%. We did, well, um, you cannot outrun my missiles, he says. Okay. See, it's not that much damage. I do not think you really, and if you have somebody that's going to cast fire resist on your whole team, you definitely don't need a magic cover tank for this, in my opinion. You just need somebody who can take all those physical hits. Um, yes, yes. Veritas, give yourself all those crystals. Now, I'm going to mischain this uh, against this boss right here. I'm going to mischain. Specifically, in order not to kill the boss, so I can have the limit burst ready to go on Veritas of the Earth. Veritas of the Earth is going to cast a uh, defensive barrier on everyone. Uh, we're going to have 9S go ahead and use his um, D, uh, magic and spirit break so that magic damage doesn't do that much. I've seen him, like, once he gets lower health, though, I do think it starts doing more damage. So just be aware of that. I've gotten to the points where I had him around 1% or something like that, trying to mess around with him, and he started doing a lot more damage. Now, I'm not sure if my. It was, it was mostly to my friend Orlando unit. I'm unsure if that Orlando unit had, like, fire resist down or something. I didn't really check into that. He just kept dying, so that was kind of awkward. All right, we're going to mischain this on purpose. Try to not do as much damage, but... Oh! Come on, Veritas of the Earth. Dang it! Volcanic Eruption. This starts doing a little bit more damage towards the end. It's still not doing that much damage. I'm unsure at what point it triggers. Maybe there's, like, a certain amount of turns before that happens. All right, just give it to Veritas of the Earth so we can end this. Yes. All right, we're going to be going for that kill now. The kill shot! I'm just going to make sure he didn't buff himself up, because if he did, we're going to dispel that off of him. And then I can teach you guys how to do the spell thing on your team. He has not buffed himself. I swear when I fought him before, he did buff himself again. I'm unsure what triggers that, to be honest. But anyway, let's... Well, you know what? We can go ahead and dispel our team. There's no reason not to. All right, I'm going to teach you guys how to dispel guy, all right? So, uh, on your own team. So what you're going to do is you're going to cast something that is not Dispelga. we got to dual cast it. You have to dual cast it. So we're going to go Kirago on our squad... And then Dispelga on the boss. That's what it seems like, right? As soon as I click Rosa, she's going to cast Kiraga. Hold and click on your teammate like we've talked about before and click target. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to hold on my teammate, click target, and then the Dispelga should go off on my team. And there we go. There are no more, um, you know, attack, defense, spirit uh, down on my team, which is good because I want to make sure I can beat him down and kill him. We're going to check the boss again, make sure he still has his defense broken. That's amazing. Uh, and that's something you guys can use instead of uh, Bushido Freedom. Uh, that should be really good for you guys, to be honest. So... I'm going to go ahead and chain this up and then hit the limit burst here. And it should be the end for him. I hope this counts. Oh my gosh, I might have missed it at the very end. I might have clicked it a little too slow. I might have clicked it a little too slow, chat and YouTube. But, hey, you guys know how to do it. I might have timed that a little bit wrong. I'm not used to the Veritas of the Earth um, limit burst killing. So it's kind of like a, you know, get used to it, learn how to do it and things like that. It might have counted, but I should have clicked it first. I was scared it would go too fast, to be honest, because I'm not used to it. Let's see if it gave it to us. Come on, baby. Light them all up. Yay! <laughs> I hate that. I hate, like, not knowing if it worked out for you or whatever. But, yeah, so that's how you take it down. It's a really simple boss. Um, I think it was fun because I could one-shot it. I took A2, A2, um, CG Nickel, Cloud as a finisher. Um, uh, I used uh, CG Lid as a breaker. And then I had somebody in there who just... Uh, I had Ace. I was trying to uh, light in peril. But they, they thought of that beforehand and made the boss be able to defend itself with that buff. So Ace was on dispel duty. But ended up one-shotting it anyway. So I didn't really need the imperil for my A2s. But yeah, guys. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you knew about that dispel uh, trick. And if I was just dumb and uh, kind of outdated there. Maybe I'm turning into a dinosaur. An old FFB dinosaur. And then uh, subscribe for future content. We'll catch you guys in the next video.